Hello. <laughs> okay, so today, what are we going to learn, Chloe? Planets. And what is this? This is a solar system planetarium. Wow, look at this. We show the camera what this is. Look. It's a solar system planetarium, and they've got all the planets which revolve around the sun on there. How cool is this? Is this super cool? Yes, Dad, open it. Come on then, let's open it. It glows in the dark. Wow, it glows in the dark, look. I didn't know that, did you? Okay, let's open it. Let's have a look. Things. Should we open it up and see what's inside? Okay. Oh! <laughs> right, here go. Lots of planets here, so it looks like we've got lots of plastic things. You have to put these together and paint them. Let's have a look. Look, Helen, what have we got? Um, red. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah. Wow, we've got red, yellow, blue, green, black and white. We've got the instructions here how to do this. I think that's Earth. Look, I found Earth. That's our planet. It is our planet. What colour do you think you should paint that one? Mm. Good girl. That's glue in the dark paint. Look. Glue in the dark. Show. Look, we've got glue in the dark paint. So, how do we know what the planets are? Oh, it's Mars, Venus, Earth, Mercury, <laughs> <laughs> Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. A Pluto is technically not a planet anymore. Technically. But this one here, this one's called Saturn. And this has got rings all around it. And look, we've got the rings for Saturn as well. So this is a group of asteroids. So in space, there are lots of rocks and asteroids spinning around and dust particles. That. Wow, see now it looks like Saturn. So now we have to color them into the same colors of these. So. Let's start painting. <laughs> it's like it is like a lollipop, isn't it? <laughs> what flavour is it? Mint. Mint. Nice. Is it going to be good? Which one's the? <laughs> <laughs> Which one's this one? Uh, uh. How do you know it's Earth? Because blue and green. So where does this one? Who lives on Earth? We do. Should we, should we put this one on? This one here, Uranus. Well done, that's perfect. What is that? The glow in the dark. So that's glow in the dark paint. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to put some glow in the dark paint on it. So see you later. See you later. We are back. 
We're back and this is our planetarium. So this is our sun. This is red and really hot. So this one's Mercury. Then we have Venus and then we have Earth. Then we have Mars here. This is Jupiter. And which is the one with the rings? Saturn. It's Saturn. Good girl. That's Uranus. Well, and which one is this? Neptune. It's Neptune. And this is Neptune, which is furthest away from the sun. And as you can see, all the planets spin around the sun. So now, what have we got there? We've got some glow in the dark paint. So we're going to put some glow in the dark paint on some of the planets. Should we put them on all or just on Earth? Which one should we put them on? All of them. On all of them, okay. We've put some glow in the dark on the sun too. I'm going to put some on Earth as well, and I'm going to pretend that this is all the light because when the Earth lights up at night time, you could sometimes see all of the lights in all of the cities in the in the world. Maybe we'll put an image of that just by here, so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, we're done. So what do we do next? Um, How are we going to know if it's going to glow in the dark? Um, put it in the darkness. Okay, we need to put it in the darkness. So we'll see you in a bit and we're going to take it somewhere dark. Yeah. So I'm going to bring in the resident expert. But who's the resident expert? Um, mummy. Mummy. So I'm going to bring in mummy and she's going to tell you all about the planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth. So we have to take them all off? No, not really, because they're in the right places. Mercury is closest to the sun. And then next is Venus, which is about the same size but as our planet. But we have the hottest because that's not the hottest. I, I know, it's not the hottest, but it is the closest to the sun. But Venus is actually the hottest planet because Venus has got an atmosphere huh? of carbon dioxide. That's when we very far away. It is really, really far away. That's Saturn, isn't it, with its yeah. rings? Be cold. And that's and the, Mars, the red planet. And this one's very far away. Both of these are very far away. They are. So that means both of these. Both of those. Both of these are very cold. Are very cold. Well done. Thank you. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And, and do you know which is the coldest out of them all? That one. Uh, that one. Neptune. But that actually, one. Uranus is colder than Neptune, even though Neptune is the furthest planet away. But and Venus is the hottest because Venus has got a lot of clouds an atmosphere around it, cl like clouds of carbon dioxide but, that but, acts like a... Both of these things, these things yes. are very really far away. They are really, really far away. Do you remember in our garden we used to have a greenhouse and it had glass all over it? And when we went in the greenhouse, what did it feel like? Mm -hmm. It was really warm. Because the sun goes in and warms it up and it can't it reflects back off the glass back in the greenhouse so it keeps it warm.
Right, and that's because our Earth spins on its axis. So it spins like this, and it spins. So say we were standing there, it would be night time because we're not facing the sun. But if it spun around and we were facing the sun, it would be daytime. And do you know, Chloe, what it's called when the Earth does a whole rotation like this around the sun? Do you know what that is? No. It's a year. A year. So if Christmas was here, if the sun was here at Christmas time, and it spun around the uh, the sun, orbited the sun, one whole time, when it got back there, it'd be Christmas again. Three hundred and sixty-five and quarter days. They've been around the sun. They've been around the sun. Hey, Should we see if we can name them all? We've got the sun. What's this one? Closer to the sun. Mercury. Then Venus. Then Venus. Earth. Mars, because it's all red. Oh, that green one's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you know what it's called? Jupiter. Orbit goes round it. Jupiter's our biggest one. Saturn's got the rings. You've got Uranus or Uranus and Neptune. And there's no Pluto anymore because it's a dwarf planet. Where is it? It's still there, but we just don't call it a planet in our solar system because it's a lot smaller. Mercury. So we on that one? No one lives on Mercury. So we on that one? Us. We're on Earth. And so we on that one? Mars. No one lives on Mars. So we on that one? Venus. No one lives on Venus because it's super hot. <laughs> we love learning planets. Thumbs up. Look how pretty, Bye. Bye. Bye.